Boo, 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 boo. I'm fucking it. <laughs> you are. Huh? I'm just imagining like the oldest, trashiest dumpster burger right now. You're just sliding your dick between those buns. It's basically what I'm thinking of. I was more thinking of like an overnight McDonald's person like working alone and just every once in a while someone orders a cheeseburger and the person making it is like very jolly and stuff in the back and just like looks at it and goes like boop, 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 boop. I'm fucking it. Put and they their, fuck put, the burger before they get it. it and then it gives it to you. <laughs> that's definitely happened. A hundred percent that's happened. If you're listening to this, it's probably happened to you. <laughs> you probably that burger that's in your mouth right now. <laughs> someone's fucked that burger <laughs> think about that kid you saw as you drove away that that sort of like like retarded smiling kid in the background just sort of moping around not making eye contact with you he put his dick in your burger <laughs> you know the one yeah he can't even deny it his hat's on sideways <sighs> not completely sideways just a little akimbo <laughs> that that little hat cock yeah that yeah it's, it tells everyone you're a, a laid-back guy you don't care too much no he just doesn't know how to put a hat on <laughs> he has no sense of what he looks like so, barely oh, okay, knows where you're he not, is you're not like uh, like a fucking retarded like fast food worker kid you're like literal retard kid yeah i mean i always find it slightly questionable mm-hmm on that on that boundary. Yeah. Low IQ, but is he retarded? Yeah, I feel like it's like retarded as a lifestyle, not, <laughs> not as a condition of birth. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I do. I I feel like that is the that is the first piece of dirty folk merch that I would consider buying. <laughs> it's a t shirt. Retarded as a lifestyle. <laughs> Oh, speaking of the Dirty Folk, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Dirty Folk Podcast. I am Max Mooseman, joined by my lovely wife, Harper the Fox. That's me. Um, we ask each other questions, and we answer them. That's it. And you listen. And you listen. You just fucking sit there. That's how it fucking works. You take it in your ear holes. All right, I have a question for you. Okay. This is a very important question that has no relevance to me. Oh, God, I'm so afraid. It's not a scary one. Okay. As a man, how many dicks can you suck before you are gay? Hmm. In other words, is gay just a state of mind? Is gay just a state of mind? Okay. This is a great question. There's some depth to it. Thank you. <laughs> obviously irrelevant to you completely irrelevant to me because my initial impulse is like being gay is about your enjoyment of guzzling that cock but if you're just sort of tepidly sucking like a thousand cocks like at that point you must be gay well yeah so, so where's the number here. and where's the line because like Say you're just a prison bitch, mm -hmm. right? So you're essentially right. being raped in the mouth every day. Right, and you've accepted it. You're not actively fighting it, but... Well, you're going to die if you don't accept it. Yeah. Right? So in that case, is there an infinite number of dicks you can put in your mouth and not be gay? Mm -hmm. Or if you get if enough people jizz in your mouth, do you become gay? Okay, I feel like <laughs> I've talked with you enough about the sort of man's mindset on this. Mm -hmm. I do feel like in the mind of other men, at a certain point, if you are saturated with enough dude cum, you're gay. Whether no, no, because we've never introduced force into the equation. When we've talked about it, if you... If you enthusiastically or willingly or by choice, if you, out of curiosity, suck a dick, then immediately, one dick, like... But you do it enthusiastically. You just elect to do it, mm -hmm. right? 
like you're not trying to get a job you're not trying to do anything in particular you're not trying to accomplish it you're just trying to make another dude happy by putting your mouth on his dick Mm -hmm. you're gay and it can never be ungayed yeah you're at least a little gay Mm -hmm. like i it's arguable that you're gay and you will always be gay (laughs) that's that's my perspective however if you have been mouth raped repeatedly hundreds of times Mm -hmm. i don't know i i I don't put that in the same category Mm -hmm. at all i think force matters in this case Hmm. that's my opinion i think there's an unlimited number of dicks you can take under duress and be straight okay but i don't believe in terms of i don't yeah i don't want to be on the side of arguing that you can be raped into a different sexuality (laughs) that's i don't think that's a good take but it might be true i don't know i guess I, I just keep thinking of the human body as like a a splooge sponge and that just there's a certain level of saturation where if you're a man saturated with enough cum, you're gay. <laughs> so you as a woman, there is a threshold where even if they <laughs> or even if it was completely against their will. So I get captured by pirates. <laughs> And I just get raped relentlessly for months. And I come back and I'm like, I survived my ordeal. Oh, my God. It's so good to be with you again. You're like, I'm sorry, hon. You've turned gay. (laughs) I need someone who still wants pussy. (laughs) So even if I'm into it, you're like, you're just too much man man juice has touched your flesh. And now. But in that case, a certain amount of time could elapse. Where I feel like you could, you could sort of cleanse it away. Okay. Like. You could wash the gay off. Yeah. <laughs> What's it take to wash the gay off? Um. <laughs> Our dog is snoring. Just. Cartoonishly. Yeah. He's doing the like. <gasps> <laughs> sort of snore. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what does it take to wash the gay off? Um, a month of time. I would say a month of time is minimum. Oh, that's not too bad. Uh, so much showering. A lot of exfoliation. <laughs> um, do do need, not like- use a public restroom. Do not look at another man's cock for that month. So you do. You do, you say you don't want to have this take, but somewhere in your heart, you do have the take that you can be <laughs> raped to gay. Because <laughs> this is not really about washing. This is about proving that you're not gay. <laughs> this is like, I don't believe it. I think you love it now. <laughs> I think you can't stay away from Mancock. Now you're addicted. Like you're going to run me after this pirate ordeal through a series of tests <laughs> over the course of a month to, to try sure to tempt s- me with dick because you think I've been raped to, to gay. <laughs> <laughs> That's how All you right. feel. You tried to pass this belief off on men, but this is at least you and possibly women. Because I'm like, no, you didn't have a choice, dude. A dick under duress doesn't count. Hmm. Yeah, I can't say I like myself right now, but uh, yeah. Uh, like, <sighs> does it work for women too? If you like, were sent to jail and just like had to eat sniz to survive. I I feel like myself I would have to I would have to do some healing before I could before I could guzzle cock again and like and my partner knows that I love it. So you think you would turn gay? I think I would be it's not exactly about the sexuality changing. It's about 
It's about the victim being damaged fundamentally. <laughs> but it's not a general damage. It's <laughs> it's like it's a simple question. Like the Would idea you, after being after being forced to eat snatch. It's like catch of the day every day. Is pussy what you want at the end of that? Do you have to deprogram from wanting pussy? No, I. It's the last thing in the world I want. Then you're not but, gay. But I'm, but I'm infused with pussy. I've been, I've been tainted <laughs> for months or years. Tainted. With with gay, <laughs> yes. But gay is wanting it, isn't it? I mean, that's where I started, but now I'm just all turned around. I don't understand your definition at this point. I think being gay is wanting it. Mm hmm. Hmm. If you don't want it, then you're not gay. That's what I think. Maybe I just think it's real gross because I'm imagining like the cum goblet kind of thing we've watched before and like and like I I have zero interest zero interest in eating pussy. So like the idea well, see this the difference between you and me because you've eaten pussy. Mhm. Mm so at some point you ate pussy. Mhm. Mm and I think that makes you a little bit gay. I would agree. I think I am. I, I've never my, sucked a dick. My working definition is that I'm like 2% gay. I've had my face a couple inches from a dick. Mm -hmm. But I've never sucked a dick. Mm -hmm. And to me, if I put my mouth on that dick... I shoot up to like 40% gay right away. Yes. Right. Like. And no amount of time is going to erase that. What if there's. Okay. So, so your standard is about. You, so far you've spoken to duress. And no, no, like that's rape, choice right there. But what about coercion? What if a hot, 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 hot babe is like, I will let you fuck me. But like, you have to kiss this man's schlong while he's fucking me that's not exactly coercion that's deal making mm -hmm. right i have kissed men to impress and hook up with women this i've done you are some percentage gay see i don't think so not on that one now if i kiss their dick it's <laughs> questionable but i didn't <laughs> Hmm. Like the kissing men at that time in my life. Are you just doing like the sort of stage kiss, like let's uh like shock value? Oh, it's like a like I'll make out with you if you kiss him. Mm hmm. Like okay. Mm hmm. And then they have to make out with me. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. I do and feel I'm like I do feel that like that scenario like, it like increases your alpha a little bit. Right, exactly. That's not gay. That's a flex. Mm -hmm. Right, like I don't give a shit. Yeah, you're you're trying to spook me. I will not be spooked. Right, you're gonna make out with me. And because she seems like she's declaring herself a freak, and I'm letting her know like you're in a lot of trouble here little miss you think you're a freak but i'm freakier <laughs> yeah, exactly strap the fuck in <laughs> that's right hmm. i'm gonna be living on your floor before you know it <laughs> just try to kick me out <laughs> me and my roach pals are moving right in that's right <laughs> I'm going to be disrespecting your parents before you know what hits you. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Okay. So assuming no, no duress, 
what is your answer? How many dicks does a man have to suck before he's gay? I feel like, okay. If you are, if you're questioning, if you decide you want to give it a try, see if you're gay. You, uh, I'm walking myself through the scenario here. You find somebody, you suck them off. Don't really enjoy it. Like, finish out of politeness. Uh, Only you would finish out of politeness. <laughs> you fucking Midwestern fuck. <laughs> finish out of politeness. <laughs> I mean, it's only fair. <laughs> um, okay, so... So you have that first experience. I think... If if you have that one experience and like really don't enjoy it, I don't think you're gay yet. If you if you decide maybe it was just the wrong person and you go back and you try for a second round. I think when your mouth touches the second dick. Yeah. I th- See, I, I lean toward it's a state of mind. Because let me, let me let me flip the script here. Okay. You've never sucked a dick, right? Mm-hmm. You have a wife. You have children. You can absolutely be gay if you haven't sucked a dick. Okay. See? That's what I'm saying, right? Mm-hmm. You've never touched a man, things like that. But, like, all you want is men, right? Mm-hmm. Like, for it to not be a state of mind, for it to be an amount of dicks you've sucked, like, that person would be straight. Right? Mm. And I don't know. I don't think they are. I think they're still gay. I think they're certainly still gay. I, I think that this is sort of attacking the integrity of the question, though, which is, like, state of mind aside, mm-hmm. how many dicks? Right. It, because right on that side, because you can suck no dicks, and we agree you can be gay. Mm-hmm. But it, the... But for some reason, the challenge comes in, like, do you still get to declare yourself straight after you've willingly sucked 20 dicks? Right. What about willingly sucked 400 dicks? Right. Does it matter if they're transactional? If you're sucking dicks for heroin? Hmm. That's certainly less gay. Right. I think you could be straight. I think I could suck... Any amount of dicks for heroin <laughs> and still be straight. It's just a job. <laughs> Let's clarify. You couldn't be straight and faithful if you're out <laughs> sucking dicks for heroin, fine, Max. But, but if you're straight, it's just a job. right? I am a dick sucker. Mm-hmm. I'm a professional dick sucker. Mm-hmm. But I could not be gay. Mm -hmm. right Mm -hmm. but if someone says like hey you could like like wash my windshield and you're like hey could i suck your dick instead (laughs) then yeah then you're gay yes pretty sure (laughs) although i don't know (laughs) <laughs> like i'm trying to put my head in the, in this, the headspace of a serious heroin addict if i've like just gotten the dick sucking bit down <laughs> and the, the sucking dicks what i do for my heroin you have a comfy dick sucking stool yeah i might not know exactly how to wash a windshield and i don't know how much heroin i get for that washing the windshield it's a whole negotiation like, you gotta stick to what you know. I might want to stick to what I know. I just suck a dick for the heroin. It's my job. You know what I mean? Like, if you have like a desk job, you don't want people coming in and haggling with you all of a sudden. So if it's under duress, if it's transactional, if your life would be slightly easier by sucking dick, and none of these things make you gay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If you're if you're just kissing a dude to impress a girl, 
<laughs> not gay. Not gay. Not necessarily gay for all these things. Mm -hmm. That's why I think gay is a state of mind. Mm -hmm. But again, we just come around to that though. Gay is a state of mind. But but is there I, a number I, but where? My, but my brain calls bullshit if you're sucking dicks for no reason. Mm -hmm. Right? It's like that stereotype thing you see in movies sometimes, like where like the hillbilly guy, like fucks a guy. He's like, but I'm not no fag. Mm -hmm. And it's like, just yeah, jerk off. Yeah, you are. Like, <laughs> yeah, like you could just jerk off, but you're choosing to plow that fucking hairy overall laden <laughs> straw sucking <laughs> there's two hillbillies in this yeah the okay. two hillbillies are fucking each other okay I assume there's one hillbilly and one comfortably gay person oh uh, no in my mind no I'm imagining two hillbillies and their family trees are at least adjacent. You know, that mountain butt fucking movie? What's that? Oh, Brokeback Broke Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> butt fuck mountain. Butt fuck mountain. <laughs> it's never occurred to me before, but like now, as like a very much an adult thinking about that movie, the gay part is whatever. Mm -hmm. But like, Gay or straight, like, don't be having anal sex out in the middle of nowhere. Like, how filthy is your dick and for how long? Oh, God. <laughs> I hope they brought some nice moist towelettes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're <laughs> just going into, like, the local diner. Just grabbing fistfuls between fishing trips. You've just been eating beef jerky and cowboy coffee for days. And, and you're in the... And, you're, and then you're butt fucking. And you're butt fucking. Hmm. It's yeah. It's a bad idea. That is a really bad idea. Your dick's gonna fall off. And you're just trying to clean yourself off and then it turns out you're cleaning yourself off with poison ivy. It's just bad news. Why would you do that? The cowboys, I think they know how to avoid poison ivy on their dicks. They're also butt fucking in the backwoods. <laughs> There's poor decision making happening all over the place. I don't think I, I don't think it goes that far. <laughs> Personally. I have more faith in than that. Uh, much classier. You just grab a passing rabbit and wipe off. <laughs> uh I don't know. We answered this one. It's a mystery. Yeah, because it's a state of mind. Unless. Because it's all, I think, because it's like, I can't reconcile this that like, only you know if you're gay, but I know if you're gay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right? And I think yeah. everyone feels that way. Yep. Oh, only you can tell if you're gay, but I fucking know. <laughs> yeah, there have definitely been people in my life where, where I'm like, I, I know what you are. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine i wish you were fine with it i know you i see you yeah um well i would love for listeners of the dirty folk podcast to weigh in on this uh a really easy way to do that is we have a newsletter that goes out for free every two weeks you can sign up at dirtyfolk.com and once you're there there are like posts of the newsletter releases that you can comment on. So you can comment on this one and just put a number. Let us know. Yeah. How many dicks did you suck before you decided you were gay? Yeah. <laughs> Listener. Uh, also, if you like the show, we love doing it for you. Uh, like we always ask you, please go tell people. Uh, tell people about the show. Tell people why you like it. Play them your favorite episode. Um, the more people we have, the easier it is to do this for a long time. We want to be with you guys, laughing with you, thinking of all the questions in the world to answer, solving all the problems that are really important in the world together for years to come. Um, and uh, we will be able to do that if the show continues to grow. So for those of you who have been out there sharing it, 
telling people we really appreciate it. The show is growing and it's because of you going out there and sharing that you love it and sharing your favorite bits of it. Um, and, uh, you know, feel free, cut the show up, put it out, just mm -hmm. try to make sure people can find it. Uh, and yeah. So, uh, and if you, uh, haven't done it yet, please rate us with, uh, the highest rating possible on whatever podcast platform you listen to us. Five stars. It's usually five stars. Uh, a lot of you've been doing that, which we really appreciate. Our ratings are growing all the time and they're doing really well. So, uh, we love making the show for you guys and we're glad you are all loving listening to it so much. So, uh, let's keep it growing guys. We really appreciate it. So, uh, that's it for now. Uh, ta-ta, buttfuckers. Bye.